Welcome to the Edge of NFT podcast with your hosts, Jeff Kelly, Ethan Janney, and Josh Krieger. We aim to bring you not only the top 1% of what's going on with NFTs today, but what will stand the test of time. We explore the nuts and bolts and the business side, but also the human element of how NFTs are changing the way we interact with the things that we love. This podcast is for the futurists and dreamers, the disruptors and creators, the fans and connectors, and the makers and doers that are pumped about this ecosystem and driving where it goes next. Um, would love to learn a little bit more about you uh, personally and, and, uh, and some of your experience in buying and selling things and some other fun stuff. Um, we call it the next segment, Edge Quick Hitters. Uh, Edge Quick Hitters are a fun, quick way to get to know you a little better. There are 10 questions and we're looking for just a short, single or few word response, but feel free to expand if you get the urge. All right, ready to jump in? Okay, number one, what's the first thing you remember ever purchasing in your life? I think... Probably I bugged a family member to give me money so I could buy uh, a pizza with friends. Like we were like watching a movie or something like that. Like I actually ordered a pizza. I remember ordering a pizza because it was a whole experience of trying to remember where I lived and I had to give them the address. I think I was like 10. I just hope you didn't use Bitcoin to buy that pizza. No, thank <laughs> God. I don't think my parents knew about Bitcoin. I was also quite a bit too young at the time, I think. Great, was, great, I, great foundation. For 10 years, yeah. Great foundation for uh, fundraising for companies, bugging your family members and others to give you money. Right, right exactly. <laughs> uh, number two, then, what is the first thing you remember ever selling in your life? Uh, that's a good one. I think probably landscaping services to neighbors and so on. I was going around with the lawnmower when I was like 10, around the same time as the pizza incident. Nice. Putting in some elbow grease. That's great. I'm trying to read. You're Canadian, right, Al? Yep. Yeah, I grew up in Halifax, so out of nice. the East Coast. Trying to read like a Canadian bent to these answers. <laughs> it's it's pretty normal up here. It just kind of looks like suburbia. There's uh, some maple leaf stuff like pretty much everywhere. Get a lot nice. of maple syrup. I'm waiting for the hockey answer. All right, go ahead. Next one, Jeff. <laughs> we will continue. Uh, number three, uh, what is the most recent thing you purchased? Uh, most recent thing. That's That's interesting. This morning, I bought a bunch of breakfast food for the office. Um, the Koi company bought lunch for everybody. That's very cool. Is it now uh, I'm in Venice and it's all about the breakfast burrito. Is that, is that what we're talking about here? Oh no, this was a, like a fruit platter and some cupcakes and some grapes. We're, uh, we're very light in the mornings here. Yeah, not, not Timmy Hortons over there. No, uh, no Tim Hortons this breakfast? morning, but we do often get the Tim Hortons in the morning. That's uh that's a key. That's a staple in Canada. Breakfast cupcakes. That breakfast is cupcakes. They had red velvet cupcakes. You know, you Let's not lie and call them muffins. You know what I mean? Just, just go straight for the cupcakes. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Number four, what's the most recent thing you sold? Uh, most recent thing I sold, I guess it's probably something to do with Koi. I kind of sold someone an NFT recently, I guess. You just sold me on the idea of a cupcake for breakfast. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> breakfast cupcakes. Easiest sell in the world. 